ladies and gentlemen, the star of Politically Incorrect, Bill Maher. All right, let's meet our panel. Nothing to plug? Nothing to plug. Just pure entertainment today. He's one of the fine stars of Farscape Fridays at 9 on the Sci-Fi Channel. Ben Browder. Ben, where are you? Ben, how are you? Thank you very much. Sit right there. He hosts his very own show on the internet. It's called The Weekly... God bless him. I mean... <clears throat> What's interesting about the, the lesbians getting their foothold here is that if you scratch out lesbian and scratch out non-birth mother, what you actually have is, uh, is a dent right into father's rights. So, you know, you basically are treating lesbian couples or straight, you know, homosexual gay men couples as equal partners in raising a child, that in, in a strange sense what you're doing is you're validating the father, because biology doesn't have anything to yeah. do with parenting a child. Mm, it has true. nothing to do with parenting a child. If you have two people who care about the child. Right. And it they both have invested in child. that. Yeah. Creating Unless, a child is not parenting a child. So right. when, you know, when it comes to split ups, it has to be about who's the parent. And I don't think someone's sexuality or right. their biology de can determine who's going to take the, take the child. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm, in, I'm encouraged to hear everyone admit that at least a man is still somewhat necessary in the whole scheme of things. And that, <laughs> Well, you know, that technology catches up. Well, right. technology's well, moving along technology fast. Technology is you know. proof, you know, and that's yeah. a question I had. Then why? 50 years. But then why? And who are we to set that precedent to kill an innocent person? But who, what who is the court to set that precedent to well, kill? The parents, the parents have agreed now. <laughs> so it's not just the courts. The parents just today agreed with the court's decision. So, um... If you want to throw that back and say, well, is it a parent's choice to determine what happens to their children, then those parents have just agreed. I think it's a very difficult, I think it's a yeah, very, no, very difficult would you agree decision no to be made, has, and I'm not of completely course comfortable it's a with courts making decision. it. I don't That's think so. why we're talking so about I guess, it. I That's I'm why guessing. it's in the paper. It's about two people who are no. conjoined, and one of them has to die, or they both will die, just like on the old Patty Duke show. <sighs> You know, I think it's his wife on I mean, if, if you're pro life. You're choosing your phrases. You're choosing your phrases, which is to kill one yeah. or to save one. Oh, the court if, if, I, if I give you the question and say, would you save one? If you could save one, would you save one to live a full life? That's a different a question. Who are you to, to judge kill? a full life? You've just stepped over a line that the Nazis stepped over when they started eliminating people <laughs> because they said their lives were not worth living. Who are you to judge whose life is worth living? Who are you to judge whose life to take? You have no right. None of us do. Well, let me ask you this. If you... They do the same thing in schools, you know? Yep. <laughs> Zero tolerance. You test it in a school and you're out. It's, it's, an, it's an excuse. It's an excuse for people to, it's... to not have to think. Right. And to pretend that they're doing something. We're going to pass a policy, even the three strikes. It's an excuse for saying, no, we are doing something, as opposed to having to look at the situation right. and judge it. We just go, oh, we don't have any tolerance for this. We've covered it. And they've covered their asses, and they look good. And the people who suffer are yeah. this gymnast. And, but, I mean, she is... Write your congressman if you're from Romania. Get that girl her medal back. Absolutely. All right, tomorrow we have Gina Lee Nolan.